The ANC Youth League is set to hold its selective uh, conference at Nazareth. The registration of delegates is currently underway, but it appears that the process is not smooth, as there seems to be disagreements over quite a number of issues. This cross back to our reporter, uh, SABC News reporter, Samkele Maseko, for an update. Samkele, on the back of what we spoke about just a little earlier on, what currently is transpiring as we age closer to the, to the conference taking place tomorrow? Well, Lisa, at this point in time, registration is now underway for the ANC Youth League 26th National Congress. Registration was halted earlier on during the day after some delegates stormed the registration venue here in Omonde at the UNISA Conference Centre. But I'm going to bring in Mr. Lufefe, who hails from the Eastern Cape and also a, a PCP member of the ANC in the Eastern Cape of the Youth League. So just the essence of the ANC Youth League Congress in the Eastern Cape. What really transpired in that Congress? Did that Congress, did that Congress sit that elected Bongani Mani as the provincial secretary? What transpired there? No, thank you, Sam. Um, no, by all organizational measures, uh, that conference is an illegitimate conference. Um, it set outside the guidelines of the NYTT. Even when the ANC in the province advised them against the conference, they continue with it. Um, for instance, uh, that conference set without an audit uh, certificate that would have verified uh, who participates in the conference. So the conference is legitimate. We're not worried about it. They know that they, they are bogus. No one can claim to, to be a, a chairperson or a provincial secretary uh, of uh, the Eastern Cape uh, Youth League. Uh, the PCPC still remains. Uh, and uh, it is the convener of the Eastern Cape, uh, Comrade Balungile, that is leading here the delegation of the Eastern Cape. Uh, so it, it is a bogus conference. Uh, and no one must claim that there's a leadership of the Youth League uh, in the Eastern Cape. There have been allegations that uh, this conference here, there's no audit report, there's no NYTT, that the Deputy Coordinator Colin Malaji is running away with uh, the NYTT meeting, so on to the NYTT Coordinator is also running away with uh, this specific meeting of the National Youth Preparatory Team preparing for this Congress to, to sit this week. And what's happening with the preparations of this particular Congress? No, remember, uh, Samgelo, a conference uh, is a silly season, you know, uh, and people uh, drive wedges. These are regional secretaries. They have audit reports. They know who's a delegate here. They know uh, uh, which branches did not qualify. Uh, there's no uh, comrade Colin Malachi that has been running away with audit reports. For that matter, NYTT now, we are told that is sitting to finalize uh, uh, issues around uh, registration of conference, but also to deal uh, with issues which, which relate to, to conference in general. So, they, they, I mean, those are just uh, things that are being said, uh, uh, and they deserve to stay in taverns and uh, in clubs. They, there's, there's no legitimacy around those things. People are bored, uh, gossip, but they want to drag that gossip into organizational process. When you look at the outcomes of this specific, particular Congress, do you anticipate any litigation issues of those who may be disgruntled, who are raising issues of audits, raising issues of legitimate delegates not being allowed in here? Do you anticipate that you may be litigated at this Congress? No, I mean, uh, the hope is always that uh, you, you, you run organizational process the way that the constitution of the organization wants it. But if there are people who uh, are not happy about organizational processes, the hope is that they, 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 they try to manage those things internally. Uh, there are internal organizational processes, there are dispute processes that will unfold. There's a steering committee that will deal with those matters. But if there are people that uh, uh, want to go externally, uh, they, must, they, they must do it. But from where we're sitting, uh, we think that the conference, has, uh, in terms of preparation, uh, has been run in a fair manner, uh, true to the constitution, true to the guidelines of the ANC Youth League. So if people have money, if people want to, 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 to be adventurous, they must try. Uh, we, we stand uh, with uh, the, the NYTT that is organizing the conference, and we're saying they must continue with the work uh, of uh, ensuring that we deliver this 26th National Conference of the Youth League. Who do you support in the lineup of the Youth League to lead the Youth League post this Congress if it goes ahead? We support the best amongst ourselves. Uh, and the best amongst ourselves is Comrade Colin Malachi, uh, it's Comrade uh, uh, Ngudle, uh, it's Comrade uh, Zuelo, it's Comrade Pumzile, it's Comrade Tsakani. That is the best uh, amongst us at this point that we think that they can take this organization forward. We are firm. Uh, there are seven regions in the Eastern Cape. There's no confusion. We support them fully. We are a majority in terms of delegates. Uh, and we are going to, <clears throat> to support them firmly. And across the country, in fact, young people are excited by their leadership. 
because uh, they, 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 are, they, are, they give hope and all the, the right signals of a correct kind of leadership are there and to support them firmly and they are going to close this conference. Thank you very much. If you support those particular individuals saying the Eastern Cape is with the particular lineup that you've just uh, read out now, Paulan Mola, the convener of the NYTT, officiated over the Congress that sat in the Eastern Cape that elected Bongani Mani, and you are saying that that Congress and Lunto Sokutu, you are saying that Congress is illegitimate, and you are basically saying that your convener presided over a legitimate Congress of the Youth League. Yeah, actually, Kola has gone rogue. Kola is a rogue person now. Uh, he went against all advice of our organization and decided to preside over a rogue conference. Uh, he does not deserve respect of members of the Youth League at this point. Uh, in fact, Comrade Kola must be rejected by the delegates of this conference. Uh, in fact, Comrade Kola, if he wants to address this conference, he must apologize to the delegates of this conference for misleading members of the NC Youth League and also for misleading the public. But if he doesn't do that, we are not going to allow Comrade Kola to preside over this conference. So in essence, you are saying that he's not going to address, give the opening address of this Congress? Yes, he's bogus. That's what I'm saying. He's a bogus person. He's illegitimate. He's rogue. He's not going to address. That's what we're saying. We're firm on it. All other provinces agree with us. Uh, he can't go around and chase shadows uh, and become a superman of some sort against organizational advice and process. He's defying the SG. Uh, who said to him that he must not go, uh, who has clearly defied the ANC in the province, he went against that. So what do you call that kind of a person? He's not a comrade, he's a rogue person. But does that not speak to him defending the autonomy of the ANC Youth League, which the likes of Julius Malema were expelled, the likes of Ronald Lamula, who ultimately failed to be president of the Youth League against Colin Maine, said they were defending the autonomy of the ANC Youth League. No, but when you defend uh, the autonomy, you must also defend its constitution. You must also defend its integrity. You must also defend its credibility. You can't choose to defend an autonomy in a manner that compromises all of these things because what you are going to be left with is an autonomous organization that is a shell with no discipline, with no credibility, no integrity. So Comrade Kola, in fact, was defending a faction, not the autonomy of the, of the Institute League. Is this the battle between Oscar Mabuyan and Lula, and Lula Mangugai Tobi in your know, province? Not, I would not enter those things, I don't know. I'm in the youth league, uh, uh, ANC politics, I don't enter them. I don't know even if there's a fight, I think it's exaggerated. I think people are using that thing uh, to try and do a cover up. The youth league is contesting, young people are contesting there. There's no old person that is saying who must contest who. We are contesting because we don't agree on preference. Also, don't I agree on uh, leadership qualities. Issues of ANC leaders, they must answer for themselves. I can't answer for that. What I can tell you is that all young people of the Eastern Cape are, are, are in support of Comrade Ngutla and it has nothing to do with ANC leaders. Thank you very much, Lufefe. That is ANC Youth League, P P P PCP member of the ANC in the Eastern Cape, saying that they are with Ngutla for the position of uh, Secretary General and Colin Malaja, disputing what uh, Apiwa Kangelwa earlier on said, that there are issues with credentials of this conference, no audit reports. But as we speak, uh, delegates are registering for this Congress of the ANC Youth League. The NYTT meeting is also going to get underway at Lutuli House at about 5 o'clock this evening.